technically called whiplash associated disorder, or WAD, whiplash is the most common injury from motor vehicle accidents. 46% of all claims made against driver's green slip insurance are for whiplash injuries. Symptoms of whiplash may include pain in the head, neck, back, shoulders, or arms, stiffness, pins and needles, numbness, dizziness, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, headache, memory loss, altered hearing, jaw pain, difficulty swallowing. Depending on your symptoms, it may be necessary to see a GP or physio to assess the severity of whiplash. Your healthcare professional will decide if you need any investigations, i.e., scans, or x-rays, but you most likely won't, ask you a range of questions, and may get you to fill out a questionnaire. Whiplash is graded 0 to 4, based on the severity of symptoms. Grade 0, no complaint about the neck. No physical signs. Grade 1, complaint of neck pain, stiffness, or tenderness only. No physical signs. Grade 2, neck complaint, and musculoskeletal signs. Musculoskeletal signs include decreased range of movement and point tenderness. Grade 3, neck complaint, and neurological signs. Neurological signs include decreased or absent tendon reflexes, weakness, and sensory deficits. Grade 4, neck complaint, and fracture or dislocation. Research shows a range of outcomes for whiplash. Some people have a fast, full recovery, while others suffer prolonged, debilitating symptoms. Often it is social and financial variables that influence the progress of recovery. A strong predictor of outcome is the patient's own opinion of the severity of the car crash and their expectation of recovery. There is a lot of research into the best thing to do for whiplash. It can be summarized into some very simple advice. Reassurance that a range of symptoms are normal. It's crucial to stay active. Protecting the neck by limiting movement will slow recovery. Simple analgesia, such as regular paracetamol, helps promote normal movement. Range of movement exercises provided by your GP or physio are beneficial. And there are some options that are proven to be detrimental, decreased activity. Collars. Muscle relaxants. Injections. Electromagnetic treatment. 